Oh, we made it out. All right, I'm here at the other end. I'm just waiting for my buddy to get here. Okay, so I'm here where I'm dropping the canoe off. And this is the Toke River. We're gonna float it back uh, up to the Alaska Highway. I gotta drop all the stuff off here, the canoe, everything other than the most valuable stuff. But what I'm carrying with me on this trip Got my rail hauler with my backpack that's got all of my other stuff in it. So it's like two backpacks in one right now. But it's easier to carry that way because I can only carry one backpack at a time. Got camera equipment, cell phones, chargers. And the red bag is my uh, hammock sleeping bag type thing uh, and some spare clothes. The orange bag has got my food in it. The ice chest has some waters. There's my life vest, my water boots, and the Saker mini chainsaw. Um, Going to be using that possibly to cut firewood or sweepers that may be in the way so that we can get through. Got the canoe paddles. Going to take these uh, ratchet straps with me. And, of course, the canoe is already over by the water. So, I'm going to get everything loaded up and head into Toke. Meet up with uh, some buddies. One of them's coming with me, maybe two. We're not quite sure yet. I'm going to drop my truck and trailer off at the other end so we can get back here um, and get the other vehicle that's going to bring us back out here um, don't know what else probably gonna have to stop it looks like I ran through some rain getting here weatherman said it wasn't supposed to rain today but apparently now we have rain go figure so I may go to the outpost and get a rain jacket because I don't have one Thank you. go packed up everything except for the camera gear phones 
and the rifle yeah. here we go be back here in about an hour and a half to uh, put this baby in the water and get started we're heading that way it's gonna be about a 30 30 to 35 mile canoe trip um, that's why we're figuring maybe two days instead of one it gives us time to also really look for moose and enjoy ourselves all right I'm here at the other end I'm just waiting for my buddy to get here so he can pick me up and we can head back to where I dropped the canoe off and this is where I'm at now is where we're going to be pulling out at um, so we'll get started had to stop at uh, three bears in toke to get a raincoat because I don't really I don't have one anymore because I tore mine up uh, last year uh, so I needed another one found one better hopefully and we'll find out pretty hard on rain gear <laughs> but uh so pick that up and been sitting here going through um the truck i've got discovered i had uh one of my mountain houses stored in the truck that i had forgot that i stored it in case of emergency i had food um, so I'm going to take it instead of taking this extra can of beef stew stuff that I bought at Three Bears for a backup meal. So now I'm going to have three full meals um, from Mountain House. And yeah, so the only thing I have left to take with me is the bag <clears throat> with the uh, rain rain suit, the mountain house, some beef jerky, and of course some pop tarts uh, for breakfast in the morning or if I just get hungry. I have something that I can chow down without having to eat a whole meal. Um, especially if we're sitting somewhere calling a moose in that we, that we see. Uh, I don't want to do that. And then I've got the rifle next to me. I'm going to be using my new 308 that Lynn bought for me. Um, the gun itself is a little much, but I'm an AR person. I love them. It's an AR-10 308. Uh, I like it. I like it a lot. So I want to use it instead of, since I'm not going to be doing a bunch of hiking, where I would normally take my uh, Tika 7mm since we're going to be in the boat and just barely going off into the woods not having to hoof it a lot um, 308 is what I wanted um, also because not only are we hunting moose we're also going to look for bear so um, having the extra rounds in the magazine helps and then I've got my uh, Pelican case that has the well, the camera, but it has batteries, it has charging cables, it has a um, solar powered charger, and I'll keep my phones, both of them, in there. So I'll have signal most of the way on the on the river because of where it's where we're gonna be at. Um, it's not too far away from civilization. I mean, there is a way that if if something happens, there's plenty of ways to get out. So, um, backcountry adventure, but yet still feasible to get to um, help if needed. And that's something that I always plan in whenever I go and go do something like this. I always plan that way out. Um, I don't just go willy-nilly into the middle of nowhere and not have a way out. So, 
Yeah, I'm gonna sit here and I'm gonna wait for my buddy to get here and we're gonna load up and head back down to where we're getting in at. All right, here we are getting the final preparations. buddies are ahead of me got them in the canoe and in the water I just got to catch up with them This is a dream trip right here. This one thing I've always wanted to do was do a float hunt. Never wanted to do the guided float hunts. I just want to do it on my own, you know? But I'm not stupid enough to want to do it without somebody here to help me. Somebody here to watch after, you know, have that backup is always a good thing. So. Oh shit, they just fell in the water. I gotta get over there to them. That's not good. You all okay? Yeah. That current was a little fast right there, huh? Yeah. Okay, so they flipped the canoe. Luckily, we're only a quarter of a mile, maybe less, to the starting point. Um, we're gonna have to cancel this trip because both the paddles and his rifle is gone. So we're making, and um, his his uh, grandson hit his face, either with the canoe when they flipped or with the rifle when it came out, one or the other, either way. Um, since uh, I've only got two paddles, you need two for something like this in case you lose one, then you have a backup. So we're gonna try and make a plan. We've already been talking about it. But I'm thinking we uh, skirt across in the canoes, get over to the sandbar. Hey, here. Let me show you. We skirt across over here to the sandbar, get over here, and we can drag the canoes all the way back. Then we shouldn't have to worry too much about it. Or we can go through what I call the alders of hell. And I call it the Alders of Hell because several years ago when Chance and I went uh, hunting around Thompson Pass area, we had to 
climbed through a bunch of alders and I swore I'd never do it again. So I won't be hunting where there's a bunch of alders that I have to climb through. I don't have to climb through these, so hopefully. Yeah, but we're gonna go make plans. Come here, mule. <laughs> <laughs> It's a great adventure. <laughs> Boy, the boys wouldn't believe this shit. That worked? Yeah. Yeah, we flipped over right at the get go. We had fun. Oh. And help push it. Grab the other yellow line and pull. Give me a give me a start. Grab that yellow line and pull it. We've basically portaged almost halfway back to the bridge. <coughs> the plan to get across to the sandbar didn't work, so we had to go through the woods. Now we've got to a spot where it's slow on our side instead of fast, and we're gonna get across the sandbars work our way back to the bridge which is right there and uh this trip's over or oh, it's never over the canoeing trip part for the river that river is moving faster than four miles an hour so one person in one canoe is doable. Two people in one canoe is not, it's not doable. It's harder to control. I don't I don't personally like having another person in the canoe with me. But. Oh, we made it out safe and sound. First time I've ever hitchhiked before in my life. All I can say is, ladies, don't be picking up hitchhikers. Don't, just don't do it. I appreciate the women who picked me up. I had two of them pick me up and give me a ride. I appreciate it greatly, but don't be doing that, please. All right, off to the next adventure.
coffee moves. Coffee moves. <laughs> Two adventure two <laughs> in an undisclosed location. Um, so we're just sitting here calling for moose and see what comes out.
three. Yesterday we seen a moose in the lake. It ran from us. And then last night, heard a bunch of splashing in the lake right by the cabin. And waited just long enough. And lo and behold, there's a cow and a calf. So, no real luck yet. Got tonight. Got to head in tomorrow night. Um, I just tried going down these wildlife trails just off from the cabin, but go towards the lake. It's too many. Goes through some thick stuff, and I ain't about to go through that. And then I went the other way just now, where I'm at, and it's blocked off by thick stuff. So I'm not climbing through the thick stuff. And just not gonna do it. So we're supposed to head out again this evening, back over to the other side of the lake. Hopefully, <clears throat> that bull that we saw will come out. We went over there this morning, got up on the on land, and did some calling and nothing. So maybe he'll be back tonight. See them clouds? Mm -hmm. Moose bat. Hmm? That's a sign of moose bat. So we might catch a moose. Standing on top of what they call Eagle Rock. <sighs> Beautiful view up here. No wonder the eagle's like coming up here. There's plenty of proof that they're here too. It's all eagle poop. Every bit of it. Personally, I think it's just maybe their bathroom. So we're hanging out in the eagles. Bathroom. <laughs> but it's cool. Very cool up here, very beautiful. <sighs> Check it out. It's even better with me in it, isn't it? <laughs> so, it's crazy that we've only seen three moose, one of which was a bull. As this land is just full of 
crazy. And what's even crazier is there's so much bear on this land in this area right here. And we ain't even seen a bear. I've seen bear scat, I've seen bear tracks, I've seen plenty of wolf tracks. Just not seeing anything. But like I said, it's hunting. It's the way it goes. Man, just look at that. Gorgeous. Yeah. So Alaska Range. And over here, it's Wrangles. One's way back there with the snow on them. That's the Wrangles. This is the the end of uh, the Alaska Range. It's pretty crazy and it's so beautiful up here. So grateful I get to do this with or without moose, bear. This is just speechless. Yeah. We might do one more day. Pretty wore out from the canoe adventure. been kind of relaxing doing most of the hunting on this on in in the boat but it's places we have gone off into the woods sat there <clears throat> sat there and called waited just nothing don't know where they're hiding yeah I'm gonna finish looking at this view for a little bit it's getting dark I think he said we got a couple more places to look before we head back so keep your fingers crossed
He sounds sick. If a bull walks into this yard after you leave, oh my god. <laughs> Moose <laughs> car.